So, is that sawdust behind your ears? Oh, it might be. Yeah. What have you been doing? Uh, what I've been doing, uh, doing is uh, working on a uh, carpenter bee trap. A carpenter bee trap. Do yep. tell. Why are why are you doing this? Um, well, we were going to spread some chemicals around the yard. Uh, we were worried about the dogs getting sick from them as well as ourselves. So, uh, rather than uh, you know spread a bunch of chemicals, we tried to figure out a different way to do things. So, took a look online and found a couple guys online that were building bee traps. And this is kind of the end result right here. Hmm. Well, show us what you've got here. So what is that? What? Essentially what happens, or what I did, is um, I've got four balls with a uh, slanted half-inch uh, drill bit cut at an upward angle. What's that for? Um, that is so the bees kind of crawl up in. They don't oh. like just a straight through little tunnel. They kind of like to go up. And they like uh, an overhang, so that's why they kind of get into your your houses and the, your sidewalls of your houses and your siding, um, because it's got that overhang to keep their little nests dry. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. essentially, what they do is they crawl up in there, kind of buzz around, and then down here, we've got some plastic bottles that are um, have a a uh, hole drilled in this um, bottom piece and basically uh, staple gunned water water bottle and the bees see the light so they're attracted to the light and they basically shoot down in here and then get stuck in the bottom and you've bottle. you've glued two bottle caps together at the top so that you can unscrew the bottom one take it off and dispose of all the bees that crawl in there essentially yes so basically screw this bottom one off, cap it off, or just toss it in the garbage, at, you know, at, once it starts getting full. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, I guess they starve, so I don't know if it's more humane, but, you know, it's better for the environment anyway. Better for us. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, you know, essentially it's just, you just make it out of your, your junk wood. Mm hmm You know, you, you don't need anything special. Just, you know, Scraps from when we, uh, the shipping container we had, uh, we built all that stuff and some other scrap wood here and there. Yeah, some nails, some extra wood, and two bottles. I wonder what chocolate covered carpenter bees might taste like. Mmm, mm. mm. kind of okay. like chocolate covered grasshoppers, but uh, <laughs> a little sharper. Well, check back with us in a little while and we'll see how this bee trap thing worked. The internet. People said it works really great, so we're going to find out.